Hi, here we are going to discuss what is VPL, that is Visual Programming Language. Okay, so uh, whenever we are thinking about programming, what comes into our mind? What picture comes into our mind? A lot of people sitting in front of the computer and writing long, long instructions, right? But here in VPL, we are not at all writing any instructions. Instead, we are creating the program graphically. Okay, that is. Uh, VPL is a language which help us to create our program graphically without writing any instructions. So why can't we just try it out, right? We are just going to create one simple program here. Here is the question. Add a nice background for the project and make the cat move left and right when you press left and right arrow keys. Okay. So let's go to the project. Here we are. So here we have a beautiful background of a school and we have a cat, okay? So whenever we are uh, thinking about games, all of us love playing games, right? So whenever we are playing games, we use uh, keys a lot, right? So usually arrow keys, left, right, up and down, right? So here, what we are going to do is, we are just going to make use of left arrow key and the right arrow key to make the cat move left and right. Shall we try then? Okay, so to start the program, you have to go to events and take when flag clicked. Okay, and after that, go to control, take a forever block, right? Now, we must make sure we are pressing the right arrow key, right? So for that, again, we are going to take if condition, okay? If is a decision-making statement, right? If you want to take a decision, we have to use if statement. So, here we have to give a condition, right? So, for that, go to sensing, take key space pressed. But here, instead of space, we are going to press the right arrow. Now, what has to happen when I press the right arrow? The cat has to move forward, right? So, we are going to motion, take move 10 steps. Okay, now let's see whether it is moving. See, the cat is moving forward, right? Yes. Now, we are going to make the cat move backward whenever we are pressing the left arrow key okay so for that again go to control take a if condition here okay again we need a, a condition right so here this time we are going to use the left arrow okay so again we are going to motion we are going to take move 10 steps again okay uh, let's try right Okay, but even when I'm right, pressing the right arrow and the left arrow, the cat is moving forward. So, what should we do? Instead of this plus 10, we are going to add minus 10. Okay, that helps the cat move backward and forward. So, here it goes. See, here it goes forward and here it comes backward. Right? So now we got a basic idea of how to do a program, right? So let's do a project now, okay? So, yeah, we are going to land a flight, okay? I just wanted to become a pilot when I, I was small. Uh, what about you? Anyone of you wanted to be a pilot? It's real fun, right, to fly a airplane? Okay, so since we are not able to do that now, we are just going to do that through a program. Okay, so you have to be very serious about that. So we are going to do it. Wow, here we have a beautiful airport, runway and a cute little airplane, right? So now what we are going to do is we are just going to help this airplane to land properly on the ground. Okay, so first we are going to start with even when flag clicked okay next actually we are going to make the airplane uh, to be in a fixed position okay so i'm just going to change this minus 152 into 106 okay so let's see yeah that is the correct position right uh, so now next thing we are going to use is point in direction 90 if the airplane is going just like this, it won't be able to land. If it has to land, it has to uh, tilt a little, right? So we are just going to make it 
tilt a little. So let it be 25. Okay. So yeah, the he goes. Okay. So it's tilted a little, right? Now, next thing we are going to do is go to control, repeat until block. Okay. Until the airplane touches this ground, this runway, it has to move forward, right? So for that, we are just going to take a condition from sensing, touching color. And we have to get the correct, exactly the same color of this runway, right? So here we go. We got the color. So what we have to do? We have to move it, right? So move. Instead of 10, we are going to give 5 here. So let's run the program. Yeah, yes, there it goes, right? Now one more thing we have to take care is, actually the airplane is like, it is tilted, it's rotated a little bit, right? Now we are going to make that okay, okay? So turn, we have used 25 here. So we are just using minus 25 so that we can make the airplane proper. Yeah, there it goes. Now it is ready to touch its tires on the runway, right? Now it has to move forward through the runway, right? So for that, again, we are going to control, take repeat. Instead of 10, I'm just going to give 20 here and go to motion. Instead of 10, we are going to use 2 here. Let's see what is happening. Oh, there we go. We have successfully landed the flight on the ground, right? 